Hi, and welcome to Alan's Astro Aspects. We're coming to you from Chicago, so remember to correct for your time zone. We use the tools of medieval astrology to give you an outlook for the next couple of days. So come on in. Hi, and welcome back to Astro Aspects. We're working on Sunday, March 20th to Saturday, March 26th. So for Sunday, March 20th, for those of you in later time zones, the sun moves into Aries for the spring equinox, which, as I said for yesterday's report, is not the first day of spring, but rather the middle of the season. The main aspect for today is a very strong Venus in Pisces, coming into a conjunction with Neptune. Now, this is especially good for those of you celebrating today as a spiritual or religious holiday, and spending time with friends, since Venus is the planet of relationships, and Neptune can give a dreamy feeling for the day. It would also be a great time to engage in some fantasies, such as going to a play or film. Later on, after about 10 p.m., the Moon and Mars make a tense aspect, so it would be great to get to bed early and take it easy. This should clear up by the morning. Monday, March 21st. This is a mixed day today, with several things going on. The Moon opposes both Venus and Neptune in the morning from about 8 until almost noon. So that nice, warm, fuzzy, fantasy relationship aspect from yesterday is going to show some tension with the transiting moon, warning us to keep a little bit more grounded and realistic this morning. Mercury moves into Aries at 7.19 p.m. Chicago time and may bring us some energy for those writing or communication projects that we wanted to do. But do be cautious about overdoing it or being too aggressive in language, with Mercury being in the warrior sign of Aries. Now, doubtless, this warning will not be heeded by most of the current politicians out there on the circuit. Now, later in the evening, the moon goes void, of course, so don't start up anything new right away. Tuesday, March 22nd, most of the day is fairly quiet today. In fact, since the moon is void, of course, I recommend taking it easy, at least until 9.23 p.m., when the moon enters the peaceful sign of Libra. Now, hopefully this will help most of you get to sleep fairly well this evening also. Wednesday, March 23rd. There are a lot of mixed influences today. One of the major backgrounds for today is Jupiter square Saturn. So this tense aspect between the principle of expansion from Jupiter and the great boundary-making planet Saturn, may have you wondering which way to go today. These slow-moving planets have been building to this, actually, and it will take a little while for this to dissipate. The best you can do is to be aware of this tension between these two cosmic different principles and see how they show up in your ordinary existence. Don't be surprised if you see more intensity in the current political power place that are happening also. <clears throat> now, in the mid-afternoon, about 3 p.m., the Sun and Mercury become conjunct, which is normally not a good thing, but for a short period of time, the lines of communication will clear up this afternoon with Mercury being in the heart of the Sun. It's called Kazemi. To add to all of this, there's also a full moon lunar eclipse, so hang on to your hats today. Thursday, March 24th, the very early morning will be great for you gardeners out there to do some planting and grafting of trees. It's also a good time to call up uh, an older person, chat with them, or to get advice from another gardener or maybe a farmer. Now, the rest of the day is one to be very cautious about, with some tense aspects between the moon and Pluto, warning us about power plays and another tense aspect with Uranus, telling us to, well, expect the unexpected. Later on in the evening, and into tomorrow, Mercury now trines Mars, which, if you have to do some forceful speech, this would probably be a time for it. Friday, March 25th, you might see in your astrological calendars that Saturn goes retrograde today at about 5 a.m. Chicago time. Now, outer planets like Saturn can go retrograde for quite some amount of time, several months, in fact. So unless 16 Sagittarius is important in your birth chart, which is where Saturn is going backwards, you may not feel much from this, for which you can actually be thankful. However, Venus is having a bit of a rough time with the difficult aspects to both Jupiter and Saturn today. 
I would be very cautious about making any big decisions about relationships with an influence like this for the next few days. Saturday, March 26th, there are two major influences for today. The Sun makes a positive aspect of Mars today, but may either give you a sense of personal energy or help you in breaking through some difficulty. Also, in the background is Venus, the planet of relationships, now this time making a good aspect to Pluto, uh, adding a little extra jolt of energy to your relationships. But do keep in mind that Venus is under some strain from yesterday's aspects to Jupiter and Saturn, so caution would be called for. Later in the afternoon, the moon enters Scorpio, which gets to be a little intense for it most of the time. So combined with my previous warnings about relationship issues, be sure to be nice with each other. That's it for this week now, and may the stars in their courses bless you today and every day. And remember, sign up on YouTube, and if you sign up the right way, these can actually be emailed to you whenever I put up a new video. Thank you much.